Introducing your first warrior. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of seven wins and one loss. He stands 165 centimeters tall and weighs already 57.2 kilograms. Representing Espoon Kia Hart and fighting out of Finland. Please welcome Abdul Abba Hussain. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a perfect professional record of four wins and no losses. He stands 175 centimeters tall and weighs already 57.2 kilograms. Representing KHK Team Bahrain and fighting out of England and the magnificent Kingdom of Bahrain. Give it up for Mohammed the Punisher. Pressure on this young man, but then Abdul Hussein, he faces a very, very dangerous high-level opponent. What do you find for a world amateur, former world amateur champion? Another former world amateur champion. That's what we have right here. With twice as much professional experience, but Mokayev, Mokayev really is that rare breed. He's just that once in a, potentially, he's that once in a gen generation type fighter. And on the In pretty leg. deep. Connects the hands, may look for a little back trip here. Nice balance being exhibited here by Abdul Hussein. That's got to be a big moment for Abdul Hussein, but it did not last. The great and powerful Dean Garnett in the corner of Mokayev there. Fantastic fighter in his own right and an incredible coach. Mokayev keeping those hips pressed tight, tight, tight to his opponent to prevent any knees when he wants to. He pops back momentarily, drives the knee straight down the center, and sinks those hips again. And because he has so much experience in wrestling, so much experience in amateur MMA, he exhibits a quiet type of calm that you don't see in a 4-0 professional fighter. A little bit of separation there. Abdul Hussein trying to stay right in front of Mokayev, not give him time to settle, try and land the strikes of his own. Brave Nation, watch Mokayev's head. It will never stop. That Big. head is always going to be moving in a circle, side to side. Dicks. Beautiful ankle pick it was a from Abba. There was a heavy shot to the body from Mokayev there, but Abdul Hussein walked right through it. Now showing very heavy hips right now. We'll just get to see how good the ground and wrestling is. Mokayev trying to trap that arm. Trying to hit that switch kick. Again, great defense being exhibited here by Abdul Hussein. Those hips are fantastic, as is that guard we just saw come out of nowhere. We've got an arm bar. It's not going to end it, but it does show the danger of the ground game of the Punisher. Looking for the back now. Needs Talk about a rare move. Oh, needs to be wary of getting his back taken here as Abdul Hussein. It looked like momentarily he was going to drop down for a knee bar of his own, but when he dropped down, there was nothing there for him to get his hands onto. So per perhaps a little bit of a mistake there by Abdul Hussein. Halfway mark, Brave Nation. We are halfway through this round. Mokayev may look to try and rip that leg out from underneath Abba. So far, a very tentative fight from both men. Being contested more so on those little back and forth, those little microaggressions on the ground. Looking for the broomstick takedown, popularized by Ben Askren. Whoa! It's a big shot, but what about the wherewithal from Abdul Hussein to attempt to defend the takedown, but just relentless work there from Mokayev. Exquisite timing from the punish from the Punisher. Timing is everything in mixed martial arts. Hit somebody when they're moving away, it doesn't do it. Hit them half as hard as they're moving in and it does it. That was absolutely exquisite timing. You have to give credit to Hussein. He did wear that shot well, but right now it's Mokayev in the ascendancy, in the position that he favors so much, that being top. Just isolating the wrist, trying to sneak that hand through for that Dagestani handcuff that frees up that ground and point. And this is where Mokayev really thrives in these positions where he can just wear on his opponent, where he can land that ground and point. 
Trying to soften up the thighs of Abdul Hussein. We're seeing terrific defense from Abba, but we're seeing even more terrific offense from the Punisher. Everywhere he goes, he hurts. Those shots to the gluteus hurt. And again, still has a tight grip of that wrist. Abdul Hussein manages to get it free. Right now, going for bicep control. Trying to keep those hips nice and heavy. Trying not to afford any space with which Abdul Hussein can work for the angle. Needs to be wary of sneaking out the back for something here. Potential. Omoplata Omoplata attempt. No, right. Mokayev rides it out, still in the dominant position. That arm looks safe, doesn't look to be hyperextended in any way, shape, or form. Shoulder is safe. Mokayev. It's a shot you rarely see, the behind the leg pop to the head. Again, I think both men will be happy enough just to settle out the rounds. Abba's far arm is trapped. There's a chance of that near arm being trapped as well. It would have been some big shots coming in. There may be just one at the end anyway. Great round for Abba, even greater round for the Punisher, Muhammad Mokayev. But as you say, there were definitely highlights for Abdul Hussein. He was able to defend a couple of takedowns, which is going to be good for his confidence, but it was still good. Many much work from Mokayev, that workman-like performance yet, and then getting the takedowns and putting a little bit of a wearing on Abdul Hussein, forcing him to carry heavyweight. You see the work, that's that head kick, more so the flat of the foot that slapped in the face, and there was a good sprawl from Abdul Hussein, but again, the workman like the work rate of Mohamed Mokayev to turn the corner and get that takedown. Phil, I love the Abdul Hussein's response to getting kicked in the head. He took his thumb, brushed it against his nose. That is a little move that goes all the way back to the gladiators of Rome. Referee Deggy Larkin clearing the cage. Both men look fresh. Mokayev, nice and light on the feet. Abdul Hussein cut from very much the same cloth, looking light and fresh. Mokayev throwing some nice feints and ducks under beautifully on the takedown. There you go, a big slam coming up from Mokayev. Boom! Big question, can he keep him down? So far, yes. Looks like the leg may be shelved. Gonna move his head up high. Pull it out, throw a shot, put the head back high, use the head to drive his opponent down to his back, where getting up is a lot tougher, and he has accomplished it. That was a nice little shot landed from Mokayev from the kneeling position. Right now he has those hands clasped. Abdul Abba looking for a switch. Trying to hit that switch, can he keep rolling on it? Oh. But beautiful work, nice heavy hips from Mokayev just to land in that side control position. May try and take the back here. Does he look for a hook or does he just pummel in with those knees? I was going to stand and try and use the fence to scrape the opponent off his back. He's going to try and push his opponent off and he's got the hands broken. If he can get an underhook, he's out. There's the underhook and he's out. A little bit of reversal of fortunes here. Nice work from Abdul Hussein showing his quality and what a feather in his cap it would be if he were able to take Mokayev down. Both players are very much in this fight right now. Abdul Hussein couldn't quite get the elevation, but nice work on the grip from Mokayev, using that to stand right back up. Has that one arm in, looked like a potential judo trip there. Abdul Hussein, as soon as he tries to get him down, but beautiful reversal there from Mokayev, turning what was an offensive, or the defensive position on his part into an offensive position. May look to get in on the single here, needs to run the pipe and on it. And down, he's got his opponent down to the mat. What's he gonna do with it? Is he gonna have to spend a lot of energy trying to keep him there, or is he gonna have a chance to start throwing some shots? We're gonna find out in about three seconds. Abdul Sian trying to work for that triangle, let's go of the rest, but trying to work in for that knee shield. Creating a little bit of distance. Looking for that knee bar again. He's trying to dive in on it. And as we've said earlier in the broadcast, the problem with a lower limb submission is you have to really commit both arms, hands to it, which it then exposes 
your face to some nasty, nasty ground on point. Midway point of the fight here, Carrick. And give us a quick summation of how you feel it's been going. It's been going the way of the Punisher. Absolutely, Abdul Abba Hussein is doing himself proud. He's giving as well as getting, but the round is not breaking his way sufficiently to turn this into a 10 round. No sooner do I say that than he gets slammed down on the ground, but he's stuck in a guillotine. Mokayev doesn't look like he's trying to finish this. It took a couple of big deep breaths there, Kirik. Mokayev wants to pop onto his left hip. He needs to, he can't be flat in his back. There he's done it. He's shifting the hip out, maybe turning into a front headlock to try to get to standing. That was shut down, however. And right now, Abdul Hussein is essentially doing a Mokayev to Mokayev, pressing him against the cage, grabbing onto that wrist. Again, good work from Mokayev. Need to be what we know how dangerous Abdul Hussein is at chokes. He does have a rear naked choke, a guillotine, and two ninja chokes, but right now trying to sneak out the back. A beautiful ballet-like response to the counter. It's the fluidity of the groundwork from each man that is so impressive. May try and grab the arm here, transition into an arm bar, but again, Abdul Hussein sneaks out the back. This is poetry in motion, ladies and gentlemen. It almost looks like a flow roll, it's that clean. Flow roll, ladies and gentlemen of Brave Nation. For, the, for those of you that don't flow roll, is when two friends get together and ex essentially exchange jujitsu ju techniques, something like a dance. But that is just how clean the work of both men has been so far tonight, Kerrick. Extremely impressive work from both men. I expected no less. This is a super fight. Nice little pot shots being landed by Abdul Hussein, showing great hips. May look to try and take the back here with 25 seconds to go. That's the second time Abdul Hussein has had very impressive use of an ankle pick. Oh, beautiful trip <laughs> takedown from Mokayev. Takedown of this event so far. But Is I, he going to come out of it with an arm? But again, Abdul Hussein finds himself just flowing like water into a dominant position. And landing some strikes. This has been such aesthetically, if you're a fan of the ground carry, this has been absolutely sumptuous to watch. Phil, this has been an honor just to watch. To be seated cage side like this, watching a super fight like this, is, is, is what my life's work has been all about. You see the big, big take down from Mohamed Mokayev. As soon, as soon as either man, as soon as their back touches the mat, it's almost like the mat is lava. They're trying everything they can to do to get into a dominant position, to switch the transition. And the fluidity with which they're doing it is something that I truly am marveling at. Mokayev's kinesthetic awareness, his ability to know where he is without actually using his eyes is extraordinary. We're watching him now in his corner. He appears to be throwing off advice. He's going to rinse his mouth out and get up and do his thing. Props to Kerrick Jeunesse for throwing out a statement like kinesthetic awareness. Oh, the vocabulary on this man. Outstanding, sir. Speaking of outstanding, these two young men are showing that they are next level mixed martial artists here in the Brave Arena. Third and final round. Show respect from both men and this really has been a wonderful exchange of grappling nuance and grappling quality from both men. Nice inside kick from Mokayev trying to hit that switch kick. Nice crack to the body from Abdul Hussein. Defending the takedown well. Phil Hussein looks like he thinks he may be down two rounds to none. Looks like he. Whoa! But, but again, a there it was. And then Abdul Hussein bounces right back up to his feet. This is gorgeous. We're going to have to get some physicists in here. There may be a little gravity leak in the Brave Combat Federation cage. These two are moving like they're in outer space. How do you even begin to score those kind of exchanges, Kirk? Right now, I'm just standing oh, back in awe. That is Snatch double, head pops out. Big moment in this fight. That's a huge, big dump takedown from Abdul Hussein. Mokayev taking a, a, a little bit of a breather there. Maybe trying to work for that triangle. triangle attempt coming. Not too close yet. Abdul Hussein doing the right thing by keeping the hips 
Well, Mohamed Mokayev compressed and may end up just rolling him to take a back's position here. But now Mokayev <laughs> lands up on top. There should be a little counter in the corner of the TV screen that just pings every time they exchange positions. And now Abdul is <laughs> on top. <laughs> I cannot keep track of how much these men are exchanging positions and just how much I am enjoying this fight, Kerik Janess. Brave Nation, this is mixed martial arts. This is an art. What you are watching here is art. It's beautiful. Mohamed Mokayev just needs to turn in towards, but then Abdul Hussein popping himself back up, trying to defend the onslaught, the takedown of the relentless Mohamed Mokayev. Nice defense being exhibited here by Abdul Hussein, landing little shots, nice split base, but Mokayev does have the hands connected and. Abdul Hussein momentarily looked like he was trying to hit the switch, but working to his feet again. Will it be a case of working to your feet just to be taken down again? Trying to dig in and hit a switch. Has the underhook of the leg. Interesting. Mokayev picking that ankle of his own, turning the tables, using his opponent's own technique against him. Very impressive. And, of course, great work from this is huge. Something big's happening. Boom! Oh, may have landed on his head there a little bit. That was a different kind of a thud, but Abdul Hussein chooses not to dig in for the guillotine, as we see so many fighters do in this position. Using the knee shield there to create a little bit of space, and now trying to get a takedown of his own. Mok have transitions to the back beautifully. Has the hooks in? No, he does not. But now Abdul Hussein just needs to turn right in towards Mokayev and he takes the back potentially. Phil, what's so beautiful about this fight is nothing is ever 100%. You think something's sunk and it's not. Nice knee from Mokayev, one of the more telling shots of the fight so far. And now you could see a takedown from Abdul Hussein and again... They are intertwined. Like, it looks like two octopus. I'm not even sure if octopus is the, the pl plural of the word, but they look like two octopus engaged in jiu-jitsu. Octopi, perhaps? I'm not quite sure. Mohamed Mokayev in the mounted position right now. What can Abdul Hussein do? He's trying to get his hand underneath the armpit and come out the back. He's got to watch it. That arm doesn't get snagged as he goes out. Back take is still in place. We may see a transition to a figure four from the Punisher's legs right now. He's got the ankles crossed. It's not likely to keep going the whole entire time. Now Abdul Hussein needs to do everything he can to try and turn in to Mohamed Mokayev. Mokayev momentarily looking like he was trying to go for the head arm triangle. Abdul Hussein using everything he can to try and keep a hold of Mokayev. And I'm sure there's a few transitions left. There's a few scrambles left between these gentlemen with just 30 seconds to go. Can Abdul Hussein get out from underneath the clutches of the Punisher Mohamed Mokayev or can Mokayev finish the round emphatically with some heavy ground and points? There's that arm we talked about. There's that arm. Oh, that looks deep. Abdul Hussein needs to keep skirting the back, but he gets Denied. out. And now he's in the side control position, landing shots of his own. What a fight this is. Trying to get in on that Darsh choke. He needs to hook a leg. Does he have anything left in his arms? Round ends. And gentlemen, what a fight between two absolute warriors. How do you even begin to score a fight like that, character? Phil, I said before the fight, this was the perfect matchup. All my respect in the world goes out to the Hawk, Mohammed Shahed, and Gustavo Firmino, Firmino. I said they found the perfect fight for Muhammad the Punisher Mokayev in an Abdul Abba Hussein. They found it. You're seeing some of the action here from the third and final round. Big slam for Muhammad Mokayev. But again, it was just transition to transition. Scramble to scramble. Both these guys have proved that they are genuine. Upper echelon flyweight fighters. What a fight, what an exchange, what a performance from both men.
In a perfect fight, Phil, nobody ever gets 100%. You have an opponent's offense, you have an opponent's defense, and those match up so perfectly that nothing is allowed to completely happen 100%. That's what we saw here, one of the best technical battles I can remember, and it was not short on excitement. Interesting to see, as always, when you do to the judges in this type of a fight, what way they have gone, where have they placed an emphasis on their scoring? Is it the inside drive? Is it the transition drive? Is it the secondary transition? Is it even the tertiary transition in mixed martial arts spirit? Exactly, Phil. Once again, I am excited. This is an exciting moment. I do not know what the judges are going to call, and I can't wait to find out. All right, Brave Nation, what an amazing bout. Incredible performance by both athletes. And after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Your first judge scores about 30-27. And your next two judges score about 29-28 for unanimous decision victory from KHK Team Bahrain, Mohammed the Punisher. Fantastic show of sportsmanship from both these, these athletes. They are now standing together and telling each other how much they respect each other. The balance of play when you're looking at that fight, I do think Mokaya was the more offensive person. He was the one that was initiating the majority of those exchanges, but Abdul has seen even in defeat as in all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with a victorious Mohamed Mokayev. Firstly, congratulations on a genuinely fantastic fight. Some of the exchanges on the ground there and some of the transitions, myself and Kirik were in fits and commentary enjoying it. Did it feel like that type of a fight when you were in it? Did it feel like a hard-fought, entertaining fight? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, hey, I'm competing against undefeated amateur fighter, 7-1 mm -hmm. record. I'm a world champion, uh, this is toughest fight division, I believe like outside of tournament, maybe inside the tournament too, but uh, very tough, it's uh, air conditioned a little bit, you know like uh, hot in Bahrain, a little bit. Yeah. Is that the hardest you have been pushed in your professional career so far? Because, as I say, the transitions were just magnificent to watch. At, at one stage, you would take Hussein down, then he, then he would transition, then you would transition. Was that the hardest you've been pushed? Hey, this is my first flyweight in four years. Mm -hmm. I have to get used to this and to this pace. And you will see me performing even better. This guy older than me, and uh, I can perform win by unanimous, unanimous decision got uh, cage time experience alhamdulillah i'm happy as i say fantastic performance you spoke a little bit about uh how abdul hussein is one of the premier flyweights you've shown that you're also one of the premier flyweights was there a little bit of a thinking behind this that this was the your chance to showcase just how good you are in the flyweight division and kind of put the rest of the guys who are in the flyweight tournament on notice i think i underestimated a little bit abdul mm -hmm. I think I, I would like finish him, but he's a strong guy. And uh, of course, this flyweight division looking at me every day, every night, and uh, they're worried about me. Talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, you came over to the Kingdom of Bahrain early. You got that work in at KHK. Just how important has that been, and how pivotal has that been for you? Three months in Bahrain, they look after me, got my nutrition sponsor. Got my doctor, medical sorted, uh, accommodation, car. I would like to thank Sheikh Khalid, Mohammed Shahid, all brave, CF team, every single, from photographer till whoever building the cage, they're doing awesome job. I really, really thank for that. I know this is not easy 
and uh, that's why I work hard to not let, the, let them down. I appreciate the support. So, taking into consideration what a great battle that was, what's next for Mohamed Mokaev? Do you want to keep busy? Do you want to get back and assess the performance? What's next for you, my friend? Hey, I'm not here to build up record. Mm -hmm. I'm 4-0, I'm fighting 7-1 guy. And uh, I, got that ex I got that experience now. I have to put my name on flyweight division ranking. I'm future number one flyweight in the world. Well, just to, to finish up, Mohamed Mokayev, is there anybody back home you would like to give a shout out to? The floor is yours. Uh, Dagestan, Manchester, Bahrain. Thank you so much for your support. My team, my all my my coach came over from UK. Dean, thank you so much. Twins here, my manager, Paradigm, and I have. Again, I say this every time. I have number one team in the world. The loyalty in my team is another level. We don't play here, brothers, brother, brother. We are here. We somebody ask, we do it. We keep the man's word, and that's I'm happy with my team. I, I just have to craft and don't let them down. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the former pound for pound amateur king making waves in the Brave Combat Federation flyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, the Punisher. Hey, I want to say. Go ahead, sir. You know, I have uh, this uh, Abdul from Palestine. I have a big fan base in Palestine. I want to say to Palestinian people, stay strong in Afghanistan, Syria, Palestine, all these countries. People, brothers and sisters, stay strong. Uh, inshallah, ease will come one day. I love you all. Assalamu alaikum. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Punisher, Mohammed Mokayev. Thank you.